Welcome to my tea party. We dummies always assume that the best way to reach other dummies is on programs that feature dummies, like this one. But it turns out that those friendly folks at the Wall Street Journal don't believe that we have a monopoly on the dummies. They think that some of the dummies are in their audience too. How do I know? Just look at the op-ed piece written by Harvey Gollop that they published on Monday. Harvey is no dummy, but he sure thinks you are. Harvey can't be here, but we have a representative dummy who will read to us what Harvey wrote in My Response to Buffett and Obama. Yippee! Over the years, I have paid a significant portion of my income to the various federal, state, and local jurisdictions in which I have lived. And I deeply resent that President Obama has decided that I don't need all the money I've not paid in taxes over the years. <laughs> Wait a minute. Obama said that? Yes. He said that you don't need all the money you've not paid in taxes over the years? Well, he didn't say it, but we all know he thinks it. <laughs> what else does he think? That I should leave less for my children and grandchildren and give more to him to spend as he thinks fit. <laughs> he wants to spend your money as he thinks fit? Yes. <laughs> I also resent that Warren Buffett and others who have created massive wealth for themselves think I'm coddled. <coughs> because they believe they should pay more in taxes. <coughs> I certainly don't feel coddled because these various governments have not imposed a higher income tax. After all, I did earn it. That's true. Like in 1997, when you laid off 3,300 employees at American Express and your compensation was $33.4 million. That must have been a tough year. Excruciating. I can't imagine anyone having a tougher time that year than me. Me either. Now that I'm 72 years old, I can look forward to paying a significant portion of my accumulated wealth in estate taxes, death taxes, <coughs> to the federal government, and depending on the state I live in at the time, to that state government as well. <coughs> what do you mean, depending on the state you live in at the time? Wouldn't it be your home state? Well, no. Who knows which of my homes I will be in when I die? These things are unpredictable, you know, dummy. That's true. I guess that $5 million estate exemption wouldn't quite pay for the landscaping, would it? It wouldn't pay for the rose bushes. Of my current income this year, I expect to pay 80 to 90% in federal income taxes, <coughs> state income taxes, <coughs> social security and Medicare taxes, <coughs> and federal and state estate taxes. <coughs> Isn't that enough? Wait a minute. You're going to pay 80 to 90% of your current income this year in taxes? I expect to. <coughs> Which is it? 80% or 90%? I don't know. 90%. You're going to lose 90% of your income this year to taxes? That's what I said, isn't it? <laughs> when the highest marginal tax rate is 35% on adjusted income in the bracket of income over 379,000, you're going to pay 90% of your income this year to Uncle Sam? Yes. How much of your income would go to Uncle Sam if the Bush tax cuts had expired and that rate had been raised back to 39.6%? I don't know. 120%. You would have to pay 120% to Uncle Sam? Yes. <laughs> so wait a minute. Although you're retired, I know you get compensated for your various board memberships, and you probably have a fair amount of long-term capital gains from dividends and sales of some of your financial assets, and no doubt you take a small salary from Ripplewood Holdings with the $10 billion in capital under management, but surely, like with most partners in private equity firms, the majority of your income comes through carried interest, which is only taxed at 15%. Do you mean to tell me that the remaining 85% of your earnings from Ripplewood Holdings wasn't enough to keep you from paying 90% of your income to Uncle Sam? That's what I said. <laughs> Does this firm have any investors? Yes. Are they financially sophisticated? Yes. Do they know you're not making any money? Duh. This firm hired you? Yes. And do they know that despite all of your years running American Express, your chairmanship at American Enterprise Institute, and your time with Dow Jones and Company, former parent to the Wall Street Journal, you still can't figure out how to keep from paying 90% of your income to Uncle Sam? Yes. Okay, that's good enough for me. One of the titans of business. Yippee! That's all we have time for today. But that was only the first two paragraphs. It gets much better. I'm sure it does. Tune in tomorrow, and we will read you more of My Response to Buffett and Obama, written specifically for dummies. Validate the birth certificate.